Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another Miami vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right guys, so we are back with more of a home decor update video. Um, I'm very excited because my closets are being installed today. Um, I'm having three custom closets uh, fabricated for my space, a closet for my bedroom, a closet or kind of like a shelving unit for the hallway where I have a mirror and a bench. And also my um, primary closet is being installed today. So I'm very, very happy. I'm going to take you guys throughout the entire process. I'm going to show you befores and afters. Um, and hopefully I love them because I, I paid enough for them. And Lord knows I'm tired of living off of rolling racks. Um, but I do have a few new home decor pieces in. Um, so I'm going to go through each space in the house and show you what's new. And then I will get into showing you guys the closet being built. Um, so if you love home decor, then this is the video for you. I made myself a vanilla oat milk double espresso latte this morning. I'll put the recipe down below. All you need is some Oatly oat milk and Tarani vanilla syrup and some kind of double espresso. I use the Nespresso machine. I'll link it down below. But yeah, it's delicious. And of course, my favorite mugs are from Target. I have so many good things in from Target, Marshalls. Um, and Amazon. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys everything. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the vlog. We're gonna be in the house today. Um, and because I know someone is gonna ask, this house dress is from Skims. I have it in a ton of different colors. And of course, I've linked it down below for you all. By the way, fresh face today. I did um, some Insta stories yesterday doing an updated skincare routine. A few of you have been asking. Ever since I had like a really bad bout of dermatitis, which happens every time the seasons change. Y'all know I told y'all my hairline was going crazy. I was using prescribed cortisone for that. Um, I've scaled back on what I use on my face and so far it's working. Like, I'll show you guys that later on, but let's get into some new in things that I have gotten from various places online, including uh, Target, Marshalls, Amazon, all the places, all the things. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're gonna start in the bedroom because I have a few new things, starting with these. I finally found some wall art um, from Target. I actually got this from the Target sale. I believe they were originally $60 and I got them for 30. They come with the actual frame and it's like a canvas print with like a very light gray and white um, with this like white birch um, frame which works perfectly with my bed which has a lighter birch frame from a CB2 I believe. But this works so perfectly in my space. And of course it comes with two, which I love. Um, they're very, very light and they both have two hangers at the top um, to hang them. So I think either today or tomorrow, I'm gonna hang these above my bed just to add a little more homey feel to this room because my bedroom is very like plain it's very stark um i didn't put much thought into the bedroom because literally i'm only in here to sleep um i put way more emphasis on my office and closet um because i'm definitely in that room a lot more um and it's also why i chose to put the smaller room as my bedroom because i would never be in this room <laughs> and it also gets uh, I mean, it's pretty bright, but yeah, it's just a cozy room. So I like it to feel very cozy. So I will link these down below from Target. Again, they are on sale. They're probably sold out online, but you can definitely find them in store. And they come with a set of two on sale for, I believe, $30 or maybe $60. 
Um, so maybe I'll have the guys put these up for me today so you can see how they will look. I'm gonna show you a bit just by placing them above the headboard, but they will be placed higher. Now, another thing about me is that I love incredible bedding. I feel like you spend uh, a majority of your life, well not a majority, but a good chunk of it asleep. And so I do not mind investing in quality bedding. Um, I get asked all the time where are my comforters, my pillow shams from, they're all from Parachute Home, um, which is really quite expensive, but definitely worth the money. But I do love the Casa Luna um, line from Target as well. I have a few of their quilts and blankets. I also um, love Threshold um, for their jersey sheets. I love a good jersey sheet. I feel like I'm sleeping in my favorite well-worn t-shirt when you have jersey sheets and jersey pillowcases um so as you can see here i have the parachute home pillows um covers and here i have the threshold um these are actually linen uh, but i have the jersey ones as well and for my fitted sheets i always go with jersey because i just feel like it's giving you just like a warm, cozy, comfy hug um, when you're sleeping. I did get a new weighted blanket. You guys know I swear by weighted blankets. Supposedly they help you with uh, stress relief and it just feels like a warm hug on you. Um, and so I just got this new one in. It is stunning. You probably saw it in the beginning of the video when I do my little like morning routine. But this is from Italic, which is an online market. Um, they sell everything from clothing to workout gear to home decor. Um, and I was supposed to do a collaboration with them, um, but it got pushed, but they still sent over all of the items I requested, which is wonderful. And I wanted this weighted thick cable knit blanket. It is quite heavy but I love the way it looks. It also comes in a few different colors. Now, most of the weighted blankets that I've encountered online are very, very expensive. Um, I believe West Elm has one for like $500. What I love about Italic is that they, their uh, prices are incredible for the same items. Um, so I believe this blanket was $129, which I have not found a blanket made like this with this super thick cable knit, and I mean it's heavy y'all, um, of this substantial quality for that price. So I'll be sure to link this down below if any of you are interested. I also have a weighted blanket um, from Target in my Harlem apartment, and that one was maybe like $30 from Target, um, but it's not cable knit. It's just uh kind of like a quilted gray blanket so i will link this one i will link similars to this one there is one from wayfair that has the same look that's not a weighted blanket um that's also pretty affordable so if you want a weighted blanket i'll put lots of options down below including this one um and then also if you just want a chunky cable knit blanket that's not weighted i'll link those below for you all as well um i think that's it for this room let's go to another Let's not forget my coffee, because Lord knows we need that. All right, guys, so we are now in my living dining area. By the way, if you're interested in anything that you have seen that I'm not directly talking about in my apartment, I have two home decor videos and a blog post over on my website, Fashion Steel NYC, that literally have links to every single thing in this apartment. <laughs> um, so I will link the other two videos as well as the blog post down below and you could check them out if you want links to anything. Um, but let me show you a few things I got in from Amazon, starting with this vase. Y'all know I don't need any more vases, vases. I have another one here. Um, that one's from Ernisa Kermici, one of my favorites. But I saw this and I thought it was so cute. So look at it, it's like this perforated um, vase with two like little holes. And I just love the shape of it. It's porcelain, it's very light. Um, Amazon has some really great 
um, vases or um, if you love that. I'll link this one down below. I feel like it will look so beautiful with like two huge um, like lilies coming out of each one or even a monstera leaf, one going this way, one going that way. I haven't figured out where I'm gonna put this yet. I have so many like vase, <laughs> vases, um, but I'm having some shelving built. So finally I'll be able to dress everything and hopefully you'll see that in today's video. So I'll link this down below from Amazon. We're gonna go to the kitchen because I have so many things from Amazon. Okay, so you guys might remember in the previous home decor video that I showed you these Joseph and Joseph, um, what is it? <laughs> Why can't I think of it? Spice racks holders that I got from Amazon. It's great if you don't have a lot of cabinet space, which I don't. Um, and so I got two of them to hold my spices, but I also wanted the little spice jars. So I ended up ordering these little jars from Amazon. They are just glass jars for your spices. They came with little labels too, but I didn't really care for the labels. I mean, if you're very into aesthetics, they did come with labels, um, but I love these. They are the perfect height um, and they all come with caps. And of course they all have like the little shakers, but I went through and I filled them all up with my favorite things, my everything bagel sauce. I have a little garlic and parsley, some cumin, um, regular garlic, pink sea salt. And I just think it looks very aesthetically pleasing now that they're all in the same kind of jar. Now, what I love about this set from Amazon is that it comes with this little filter so that you can filter in all of your spices with ease. You're not making a huge mess. And I actually have quite a few bottles left up here at the top that I can use for more spices. But what's great is about six bottles can fit into this Joseph and Joseph tray. And then as you can see, I just literally pop it back up. I absolutely love that. It's such a space saver. So what I'll do is I'll link the Joseph and Joseph um, spice rack holders from Amazon as well as the jars. Um, and it just clips onto any standard size shelf. And it also has a little strip up at the top where you can Velcro it to the top of the shelf. Very easy. You don't have to like mess up your shelves if you're like living in an apartment and you just need more space. So I'll be sure to link those things down below. All right guys, so another thing that I got from Amazon that has literally been a lifesaver is this extendable duster now i have like 12 foot ceilings and because this is a newer place i have lots of guests as in teeny tiny spiders as a gecko flies across my window like it is the wild west out here this is like i feel like i'm i'm an animal planet but yeah there are a lot of spiders in this place and they like make their homes in the ceiling where i can't reach and so I got this, this thing is so great, you guys. First of all, this, this, the end here, the fluffy part, it pops off and on. But once you pop it on, it pops onto this little stick. And the great thing about this little stick is it extends so far. Like my staircase, I don't know, it's like 20 foot ceilings, like I can't get up there but this can and it's incredible. So if you have really high ceilings and you see that little baby spiders are making homes and cobwebs and nest um, in your spaces, this thing is incredible. Let me see, are there, there's, I mean, I have to literally go through once a week and like get them with this. And I don't believe this kills them, so it just kind of holds them and I usually go out outside or on the patio and I just shake them off. Um, but yeah, this is great. <laughs> this is like the best invention ever because the little small dusters, you need a ladder and like, I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to be falling and not being able to get up and, you know, needing life alert and all of those things when I can just have this from Amazon. So I'll link it down below if any of you are interested. Ooh, I see a web. Let's get it. Period. 
It's also good for webs, you know? And I like that it folds right on up and you can store it. You can even take the top off and store it that way too. So I have one thing new in from CB2. I've been really loving these very beautiful crystallized looking wine glasses. Um, and my girl, Rhea Michelle, she actually put me on to these. They are so cute. They look so fancy. I absolutely love them. I feel like they were $4 each. I'm gonna go get more, but for like a cute little champagne moment, ugh, I love them. They're so great. So I'll link these down below. They did come from CB2. I believe you can find them at a, quite a few places, but CB2 has them for the cheapest, uh, $4 a glass, I believe. So, and they're beautiful, very good quality. We'll have a little drink later on. We'll, we'll pour ourselves some drinks, a libation or two, while we uh, dress my closet later on. But I'll link these down below. They, these are the ones. They are, trust me. Um, okay, so I do have a few more home pieces in from Marshalls, so let's get into those. Um, if you've been keeping up with me on Instagram, you guys know I've been working with Marshalls for the past two months. Um, love working with them. I'm a Marshalls girl. So, let me show you what I got. First up, I got this basket. I used to have one in my old Miami apartment, but I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> but I love the colors of this. It's like a large raffia basket. And it was only $29, or was it? I feel like this was on sale. It was on sale for like $19. Um, and there are, this one actually had a smaller one too, but I didn't want the smaller one. I love this one. What I'm gonna end up doing is under the stairs, I'm going to put some shelving, um, and then I'm gonna get a bench um, that I can put things in, like a storage bench, and I'm gonna sit this probably on top of the bench and put my throws in it for when I get chilly. Like this throw here, this fuzzy throw that I have on the couch. Um, Mostly, anytime I sit on the couch, I sit on this throw just to make sure <laughs> I don't get a stain on my couch. But um, yeah, I love my couch. It's white boucle. It's from Lulu in Georgia. It was a gift from them. Um, and so I'll link the couch down below as well. So that's what I'm gonna end up doing with this basket. I believe they have similar baskets at Target as well. But just to kind of dress it so you guys can see what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be kind of like this, <laughs> you know, minus the tag. And it will sit over here about this height in the corner. Um, so that's what I plan to do. I'm gonna get some more throws, like different textures and such. Um, yeah, because I do keep my air condition on like 24 seven. So it's always cold in here. But yeah, love a good basket. I'll link this down below. I'm not sure if you all are familiar, but you can shop Marshall's things online. Um, they do have an online store and they have a home decor department and it's very, very affordable. Um, so I'll link this and a few more of my favorite home decor pieces from Marshall's. Um, I also ended up getting another throw or kind of like a comforter, a blanket. And it's this white rib blanket. I do love a white blanket. Yes, they get dirty super quick, but I have a tip for you. Just a moment though. Um, I, uh, I just, I can't help it. It's pure luxury linen quilt and it feels incredible. Um, maybe they'll have this online and I'll link it down below, but I love a linen quilt, especially when it's white. Um, let me show you guys what I use to keep my white sheets very crisp and very white. So this is what I use. I use the all free and clear stain lifters. Um, these are the mega packs that I put inside when I wash things. 
And let me tell you, if you have a stain, even if like you have a makeup stain, and y'all know I'm a brown girl, so makeup gets everywhere on everything. All I need is one of these. Pop it in the wash, and it's gonna come out sparkling white, like brand new. Um, I actually got this from Amazon. <laughs> So I'll link this down below. Um, I love that it's free and clear. I'm pretty allergic to any kind of um, clothing detergent that has fragrance. This does not have a fragrance. What I end up doing is mixing a little bit of the Lalabo Rose detergent as a pre-wash. Um, I'm not allergic to that. And just popping this in and it, it works like a charm. Anything white you have, this gonna get it clean. I'ma link this for y'all because she the one, okay? And because I already mentioned it, let me show you this as well. Um, this is this is the Laundress um, and Lalabo Rose 31 um, detergent. It's highly concentrated trade it so you don't have to use a lot um but it smells so good now i love lalabo um the santal 33 but the laundry detergent santal 33 does not smell good y'all it doesn't smell like the clone it doesn't smell like the perfume i don't even like rose scents but rose 31 for your clothes is the one this is the one you should buy for your clothes don't get the santal 33 get the rose 31 your clothes are going to smell divine. Um, and I have the most sensitive skin and it hasn't caused any reactions for me. Oh, you want your clothes to smell like this, trust me. So I put a little bit of this in as a pre-wash and pop one of those in. Um, the power pack looks like this. And it gets my clothes smelling incredible and super, super clean. Um, so I'll link this as well for any of you laundry snobs. <laughs> I'm a laundry snob, like I can't help it. Um, and you can check it out. So those two things are everything I got um, from Marshalls. Um, but you can also get like the Louis Vuitton books, the Architectural Digest books, um, I, even the Tom Ford books I believe from Marshalls. So I'll link some of my favorite home decor books from Marshalls as well as just home decor pieces that I think you all would love. Um, from Marshall's down in the description box. Let me show you the shelves I got. Um, I bought these shelves from Wayfair, I believe. I haven't had them installed yet, but I just want to show them to you. Um, I talked about putting shelving up next to my TV. These are the shelves. I had them in my previous Miami apartment. Um, they have a little backing here. They come with all of the nails and things. They're very thick, they're big enough for a book, and you can kind of like stagger them or do whatever kind of design you want to do with them. Um, and I love them, great quality. So if you're looking to create some shelving and you want it to be seamless, um, I would highly recommend these. Please have someone come install them for you. <laughs> Hire a Task Rabbit. download the Task Rabbit app, um, it comes with people who know how to build things <laughs> and have them do it for you. It's a pretty easy install, but um, I wouldn't, as a lay person, put them up myself. But they're incredible. I bought four of them because I had planned to do a bookshelf next to the TV, and I might still do that. But what I plan to do is create some shelving here under the stairs so I can utilize that space. So if you're interested in some free floating shelves, I believe Wayfair has the cheapest ones um, for your money, but they're, they're not cheap. They're like solid. Um, I think they have these at Target as well. So I'll link these. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the new end, like home decor, Amazon, Marshalls pieces. What I'm gonna do now is go through and show you where I'm having things built today. Um, all of my closets so you can get the befores and afters. I just got a text message that the installer is packing up my closets now and should be along in the next half hour. So let me show you the befores and afters of everything. Well, the befores of everything. And then I'll show you the after. And then I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. 
I haven't cooked with you guys in a while, so we'll cook my favorite breakfast. It's very quick and easy and uh, pretty healthy as well. All right, so let me show you guys the befores. All right, love, so we're in my second bedroom and there is no like true closet in this room. It just came with this little nook. <laughs> like, I can fit in it, but it's quite thin. Um, and I was thinking I would just put a bookshelf there but I actually found a closet maker who was able to create a closet as well as some drawer space out of this tiny little nook. As you can see, it doesn't even have a door. So the plan for this is to create a closet with mainly some shelving here and then cubbies here um, for products and such. And I believe two drawers and then have a sliding door here. Now, I don't know how they gonna do it because that's a little tiny space, y'all, but we gonna see. Right now, I just have my little laundry hamper in here, and uh, I chose to leave this in here because the shelves that they're going to put in, I can decide the height of them, and I want this to be able to fit in one of the shelves so I can hide that away. So yeah, we're gonna see what they can do with this closet. Um, I was actually supposed to have a bigger closet. This is what happens when you buy a house unseen and it's being built. There was a lot of little things that were supposed to happen that did not happen. They had to take a lot of space from this supposed closet for the, uh, the air conditioned unit, which is actually right behind it. So it works out. I bought this little storage, uh, bench here from cb2 and i have quite a few things in there and it's aesthetically pleasing and i can put everything away so that works out fine um we'll see what they end up doing with this space i did end up buying some white handles from amazon to use for the drawer pulls as well as the door um the hinge door pull so we'll see if those work out um let's go to the next area all right guys, so we're in one of my favorite places in my house, which is this hallway, which is marked by these beautiful um, trees here outside of my window. It almost looks like a picture. We have some picture frames up there from H&M. I am sitting on my favorite bench from Lulu in Georgia. Remember I told you guys that Marshall sells the Louis Vuitton book? This Louis Vuitton book is from Marshall's. But yeah, this is one of my favorite areas. This uh, mirror is from West Elm. Um, but I have like this little empty pocket of space here. This could have actually entirely been turned into a storage closet. But I like it open because I actually like to sit here, have a coffee, look out the window. I like to meditate here. This is where I sit to put on my shoes. Um, and it's just a fun space and that I love having and I like it to be minimal. So what they're actually going to come in and do is put some cubbies alongside here. I think it's going to be 14 inches with different levels of shelving where I could just show off my vases. I can put candles. Um, I can store things pretty much just display things that I love. It's not going to be filled with a ton of stuff because I want it to still be quite minimal but I think it'll be good to get my flowers off the floor and have them stacked next to the mirror um, and maybe a place for some candles and like you know little sentimental things from friends and family um, so that should be really nice again it's quite a small space it's only about 14 inches but I think just having a beautiful white shelving coming out will help a ton with regards to creating more um, storage space in this house. And finally, we are here in my primary bedroom. This is basically my office. I have my Ikea set here. My desk is over there, y'all. Every piece, well not every piece, but all of my shoes are out here. All of my clothes are on rolling racks. It's a mess over here. Here's my closet. It's not the biggest closet, but it's not the smallest closet either. Um, but it does have a window, which 
let's face it i love um so let's go inside so here's my closet i'm gonna give you the layout of the floor it's quite long it's long and it's tall um but it's not the biggest closet um there is a plug in here which is nice um there is a window in here which is also nice um i'm really excited about what they drew up and sent to me um so here in this corner should be like footwear all the way up to the ceiling shelving here we're gonna have hanging here um two bars one at the top one at the bottom here and more hanging space with like a diagonal here um, and then I'll just have walking space here. So we'll see how it turns out. I went with a white finish. Um, hopefully it comes out nice um, and we'll dress it all up. So the cost for all three closets and the door that they're gonna put in the bedroom came up to about three grand, which I didn't think was bad at all. Like I thought I was gonna have to pay a lot more. Um, but hopefully I love it. There is room for me to like change the positions of things, which I like so I can change things around um, depending on what I get rid of, what I collect and so on and so forth. I do believe I'm still going to get like a floating shelf somewhere in this room. I'm probably next to the mirror where I'm going to hang and put all of my handbags. So we'll see how everything turns out. They're actually on their way now. So I'm gonna get myself together, hop in the shower, throw on a face and a little relaxing outfit. And I'm gonna show you guys my closets. And then we're gonna outfit them. Yeah, happy about that too. Let me show you guys the mess. This is the mess. I have two industrial rolling racks from Amazon. I'll link them down below that are currently housing all my clothes, all of my shoes I and luggage and suitcases I have taken out and kind of laid out here so that it's easy for me to like place everything when it's time. Sometimes I forget the things that I have. So yeah, this is literally all my stuff right now. It's quite a bit. So hopefully it all fits. We're gonna make it work. Um, yeah, and this is just more stuff and the rest of my office. Again, if you're interested in any of my office items, they are featured in previous videos um, and in the blog posts. Then I have this dress here that I need to take to the cleaners. That is that. These are some packing bags from Amazon. And this is my tripod, which is linked in the description box all the way down at the bottom of every video along with the rest of my filming um, equipment. Um, so yeah, when I was talking about the shelving, I'm thinking about putting it here next to this mirror. I'm getting rid of this mirror and getting a different mirror from CB2. It's a white square mirror that's a little bit bigger than this. Um, I'll link that if any of you are looking for a really great mirror. It's not a funny mirror and it's very, very tall and wide, which, which I love. So we're going to order that. Um, and it's on the way to be delivered at the beginning of august so yeah all right that is it i will check back in after they finish installing everything um actually i might check back in when i'm cooking myself a little uh breakfast but yeah very very excited hopefully everything turns out how i want it all right let's get ready for the day all right guys so i quickly got myself together i just put on this little onesie from skims it does have like a like a little netted bra on the inside but yeah since i'm gonna be moving things probably getting a little dirty i just thought i would put this on i did do a super quick face using my beauty counter um clean uh tinted moisturizer makeup i just filled in my brows with the sephora brow pencil i did a little winged eye with the I believe it's Anastasia um, eye pencil um, and I put a little lip on it is modest matte by absolute New York um, I think I just got a package so yeah and then I kind of slicked down whatever was flying up with my favorite um, edge control 
y'all let me show y'all this edge control because it's the best so when i did a little get ready with me i uh used this kiss edge fixer max hold um the pineapple scent if you don't like pineapple they have other fragrances as well but y'all this is the best edge control on the planet i believe it's not water-based so uh it doesn't make your hair revert or anything it's just incredible and i've been loving doing a cat eye i'm still getting used to doing it um i have not perfected it so i'm just playing around with it but the past few times i've done it i really love the look um i've been using clean makeup it's been doing wonders for my skin um i've been using this kiehl's uh, ultra facial cream as the only moisturizer i use every single day and it works I don't know what's in it it's magic but it is the best moisturizer and then i also use my where is it i must have took it downstairs my unseen sunscreen from super goop on my face spf 40 every single day um people are asking me if i like that one better than uh, i think black girl sun sunscreen i've never tried that sunscreen but let me tell you the super goop i'm a forever fan that's the only one i will use on my face it doesn't break me out it doesn't make me oily it doesn't make me shiny it literally goes on clear and you can wear it as a makeup base it's incredible you can get it at sephora i'll link it down below all right i'm gonna go downstairs and make myself some late breakfast early lunch and wait for the installers to get here let me show you the full look so this is the little onesie. I've had this for quite a long time. I don't even know if they make these anymore. I'm wearing a medium, I believe. But if so, I'll link it down below for you all. It is pretty thick. Um, it's a thicker material um, jersey. Um, and I love it for just like doing chores, running errands. Um, I've even worked out in this, but I wouldn't recommend working out in it, in it because you will get so sweaty and gross. But yeah, super cute. One more thing I wanted to show you guys. I'm using a new um, mascara. It's from Ami Cole, which is a black owned business. My girl actually started this beauty brand maybe like three years ago and she is flourishing and I love it. So if you're looking for a new mascara, you wanna support a black owned business, definitely check out Ami Cole. They have amazing skincare products as well. Um, all right, let's eat. I'm excited about my breakfast, y'all. All right, guys, so the closet guys are here and I am thrilled. I'm a little washed out. Okay, yeah, so the closet guys are here and I am thrilled, finishing up my coffee, but about to make lunch. Um, what I'm gonna do is make two eggs, um, I kind of make it like not scramble, but not completely just laying there either because I don't like the slimy eggs. Um, and then I toss a little bit of kale in there with garlic powder and then I eat that with uh, pico de gallo. Y'all, that's the best breakfast. It's so delicious. So let's get my pan, which I have to clean because I cooked the same thing yesterday. This is my this is my pan from um, our place. Very aesthetically pleasing. Comes with a matching top. It's a beautiful like beige, and it comes with a spatula that fits inside of it. So comes in a ton of different, very aesthetically pleasing colors for all of my aesthetic gals. So I'll link this pot down below it does have a rubber handle this is where the spatula lays and goes inside um, and a rubber top as well so quickly gonna clean this out and then we will cook which a lot of you don't think I actually do but I just find it difficult to film cooking so I stopped doing it but a lot of you really love the cooking segment so I'll make it a point to cook more for you all I don't just eat out every day at restaurants um, but when I do, I take you guys with me. Uh, let's see. I have my favorite method dish soap. I love this soap, by the way. It's so good. Mm. 
So you can't see the guys, but they're right behind you all, setting up all the pieces of the closet outside. And so far, I'm loving the color. It's like a really light birch white that would go really well with all of the like wood tones I have going on in my house. And the other thing I love about this pan is it's so easy to clean it. It's like um, non-stick, but it doesn't have that non-stick, whatever it is that's not good for you in it. Um, but it's very easy to clean. And I fried some chicken in here the other day, so I would know. All right, so let's just. My stove is an electric stove. I actually prefer gas. I don't know why. I've been living in New York too long. And in New York, most of the stoves are gas. And I feel like actual flames cook food better than electric. But I guess you can control it better with electric. And it looks more aesthetically pleasing with the electric stove top as well. Alrighty, let's cook. All right, I'm gonna put on a little Cass. You guys know I love Cassie Thorpe. That is my girl. She always has amazing videos. Really? I love Cassie, she's incredible. My breakfast is done very easy just two eggs almost fried hard with a little bit of salt and pepper actually sea salt and pepper I threw some kale in kind of drizzled it a little bit a little with water so it can wilt and then I added just a little bit of garlic powder and then I just scooped on some pico de gallo literally I just mixed everything and it tastes so delicious so if you're looking for a quick breakfast meal or even like a, a quick lunch this is delicious and pretty healthy so yeah I get my protein I get my greens I get a little zing from the pico de gallo which I love and I still have a little bit of my espresso from this morning by the way the plates are from I believe they're from Amazon I'll link them as well as well as the matte black um, cuttery and the little table mats are from, I cannot remember, but I have linked them down below because I get asked about these like more than pretty much any other thing in my videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, finish watching Cassie and let them install my closets, which they have 
just gotten started with. o'clock and the closet installers just left they got here at around 10 30 it took them about half an hour to unload everything and then get everything in the proper room um so they really started at about i would say 11 30 um actually installing everything and they just left so it took them about three hours three hours and a half to get everything together um but i absolutely love it okay so we're in my bedroom remember this just used to be a nook now we have a closet so i'm gonna go through and show you what they did they came with all of the prefabricated pieces um and they created this closet for me i have a number of shelves i have two drawers here um and then I also have storage space at the bottom and all the way over here I have tons of little shelving um, so yeah really excited let me show you guys a little bit closer so you remember the before here is the after which I absolutely love the only thing now is that this is too long and it's in the way of the door so I'm actually gonna get rid of this and get a smaller one I'm gonna probably put this on maybe like Facebook marketplace um, but i'm loving it there was a bar down here that i took out so that i could put my laundry basket in there but i absolutely love what they did and the great thing about it is that all of these shelves are movable i have the little pegs if i want to uh, change the height i can do that um, as well as for all of the little cubbies over here i think i'm gonna put like extra beauty products and things that i get from brands here um, or maybe even extra shoe storage um, but I also had them put two drawers here just for like all of the things that I wear to sleep so that they're not taking space in the drawers upstairs um, and I love this color that I went with it's like almost like a birch white color yeah so as you can see it's slightly textured which I really like so yeah I had them put these two drawers here I actually bought these handles they didn't have handles I got a pack of these 10 handles from Amazon for like I believe like $13 so yeah loving those so all in all just a really great closet space I also had them put on this sliding door and again they use the same handle it's really seamless and I love how flat it is and how mesh it is to the wall. There's a little um, dirt there, but I'm gonna clean that. And it just really like fits into the room seamlessly, which I love. So yeah, very happy about that. It's on a track up here and it's stunning. I can't wait to dress it. Um, but yeah, definitely getting rid of this because now it's too big for this area um i could have had them open the door the other way but i am planning to get a tv mounted here and i just don't want anything too close interfering with with that so yeah i'm just going to get rid of this and get either a smaller storage unit or get like a tiny little table and chair set to go here which i think would be lovely um so that is the first closet and it came out incredible. They did such an amazing job. All of this storage space is definitely gonna come in handy. Um, let's go check out the hallway space. <sighs> All right guys, so now we're in my favorite hallway. By the way, I had to order myself a Welcome to Miami smoothie from Pura Vida Miami. They have these um, like very healthy restaurants all hey hey don't come on you're gonna be too loud <laughs> no one is gonna be able to hear me all 
okay just focus on my voice and not the air conditioner but the welcome to miami smoothie from pura vita is delicious there are a ton of them all around miami um there's one in the miami design district if you ever go get the welcome to miami it is delicious mm. Oh my god it's so good it has like mango in it and i don't even know what else it has in it but it's divine okay we're off tangent so here i just had some shelving put in i love the way it turned out let me give you guys a closer look so if you remember before there was literally nothing here <laughs> um i made sure they left space for a mirror my mirror still here um, but now I have just a few little storage spots to store like my knickknacks, my cute like vases and you know, cute pieces like that. That's the um, intercom by the way for when we have fires and such. Um, they had to take it off to check it and so the paint is peeling around it. They're coming back to do something else to it and then I'm going to have this repainted. So don't worry about that. Um, but here's my little vase here from H&M Home that I put my tulips in. Um, I think what I'm going to end up doing is maybe taking out the middle shelf um, and then putting my flower pot here um, so that the flowers can be raised up and then just having different things, candles and such in the other areas. But I still love how it looks. It's still super clean for me to do like my Insta stories in the morning here and take fun little photos um, for social media here as well. Um, I went with the all white mat in the hallway versus like the white textured because I think it just worked more seamlessly with this area. So yeah, really happy with how it looked. This was a really funny, funky area and they just really did an amazing job. They even sealed it here against the wall so you can't see like the seams. Um, and they also cut all, out a piece for the baseboard. So yeah, really happy with this. Like the quality is, it's there and it's custom and it's made specifically for this little nook. Um, so I love it. All right guys, so let's head upstairs to the piece de resistance, my primary main closet. I already love it. <laughs> let's go. So we are here in my office slash closet. And the moment I have been waiting for since I moved in this place in March. Was it March or was it April? March. <sighs> Step into my closet. Let's go. Come on. Is the after. And I don't know about you, but I'm obsessed. They really outdid themselves. I mean, it's stunning. I love the color. It's nice and bright. Let me turn the light off. There we go. I love the color. It's nice and bright. They boxed out the mirror. I mean, they boxed out the window and then they added tons of shelving. This is going to be shoes shoes all the way up to the ceiling probably shoes all the way around the top and up here as well will probably be shoes here i have a big hanging space for all of my long pieces which i do have quite a few um and then here i have two double rows that come all the way around for things that i could probably fold on a hanger or tops and such and oh i love how they box this out it's so good it is custom it looks like this just came this way and i love how they did these curved edges oh it's incredible and the guy made sure he hung on this pole and, and his whole body weight and was like yeah this is never coming down so put as much clothes on here as you want and i am thrilled I absolutely am just in shock with the quality. Um, I'll put their details down below. 
if you're in the Miami area only because that's the only areas that they do. But ha, I love all the little hooks. I can customize this. I can take shelving out of here and such, um, but I am just thrilled with how it looks. All right, so I'm here in my closet um, and I absolutely love it. So what I'm gonna do probably for the rest of the evening because I'm too excited is dress my closets. Um, I'm gonna spend the entire rest of the evening doing this for sure. And then I'm gonna check back with you guys tomorrow morning and show you the reveal with all of my things inside. Um, and then that will be the end of the video because tomorrow I have to make some returns. I have to go get a Manny Petty. Um, and then Sunday I'm off to New York for an event and to get my hair rebraided <laughs> for swim week, of course, and uh, an upcoming vacation I have to Barbados. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have my braids back in very, very soon. This will probably be the last video you see with my natural hair. Um, and then I'm gonna get my braids back in. I'm gonna have them only in for about a month this time. And as soon as I get back from Barbados, I'm taking them out and giving my natural hair a rest until probably November? No, probably September because fashion week, I'm not trying to do my hair. So we don't have braids for the rest of the year. All right, guys, <laughs> well, I'm gonna dress this and then uh, I'll check back in with you all tomorrow from this very spot. Hi guys, so it's a brand new day and I'm gonna show you all how I outfitted my three new closet spaces. Um, by the way, wearing Chanel earrings and this stunning dress that I just got in from Solid and Striped. I'm wearing a medium. It's absolutely stunning. I'll show it to you in full once we get to my closet. Um, but let's get into this closet uh, in my bedroom. Um, they place these doors on. They're sliding doors. I got the handles from Amazon. And let me show you how I outfitted it. So I'm really utilizing this closet as storage space. I have some linens up at the top, lots of towels. Um, I created a little section for my workout gear, including my yoga mats and my bala bangles. I put these weighted bangles on my wrist when I work out. I'll link these below. They're very aesthetically pleasing. I'm um, coming a ton of neutral colors. I get all my yoga mats from Society6. In these two drawers, I ended up putting uh, like my underwear and things I like to sleep in in the first drawer and in the second drawer, my workout gear, which I have quite a bit of workout gear from Lululemon to Sweaty Betty. And I'm also really happy that I have enough space to put a small suitcase. This is my um, hamper for my dirty clothes. And in the cubbies here, I put shoes, more linens, pillowcases, sheets. I have a few weights like ironing, um, tools and steamers. And yeah, it just came out great. And then I just have a little section here of magazines. This little pillow I actually got when I ordered my Christian Dior candles. And <laughs> so I just, the jewelry that I wear almost every day, I just toss on this little pillow at the end of the night. Um, that way I don't have to go upstairs and put them in my jewelry case. And then I just have a few candles. So that's how I outfitted this space. Love that for us. Let's go to the hallway. All right, guys. So you all know that this is my favorite area in my home. Um, right next to the mirror, I have these shelves built. And really, I just put a ton of like books and knickknacks and vases and things here. This is not set in stone, um, but we'll see as I like collect more things what actually ends up being put in this case because this is pretty much just to display things, being that it, it's in a place where anyone can pass by. So let me show you what I have in there so far. So at the top here, I ended up putting that vase I got from Amazon, a candle, um, a few Kim Folk magazines, and then the New Southern Style book, which I absolutely love. I actually got this book from Marshalls. I'll link it down below. We have 
a few candles here. These candles are from all over. The female foreign candles and these little candles, they're very popular right now. Um, if I can find any, I'll link them. I actually brought my kinfolk books from downstairs up here and I prefer them up here more because this is where I like to sit and read on my phone about gardening. So I can just get my book and read right here on my bench, which is from Lulu and Georgia. I'll link this bench down below. And this little cool marble chain I actually got from a black owned um, home decor business that actually one of my friends has. I'll link it down below. Um, and then I just have my vase here from H&M that I usually put my tulips in. Again, this is not set in stone, but as I collect more things that I want to display, this is probably where they will go. And while I have your attention here in my uh, West Elm mirror, let me show you this stunning dress from Solid and Striped. Shout out to them for sending this over to me. Um, they sent me another dress as well. Basically, swim week is coming up and so um, I'm so happy that they reached out and these are the items that I picked. I absolutely love this dress. It does have a little bit of stretch. Stunning, you guys. I'll link it down below if any of you are interested because it's a beautiful pop of color a great dress for like a vacation or an event or you know just go run some errands all right now let's head on up to my closet which i took all night getting together it's not finalized yet there's actually some things i figured out that i want to do but let's head on up there Alright guys, so here we are. I did manage to fit all two rolling racks of clothes into this closet. It was a feat. I had to downsize a lot. I will be reopening my Poshmark closet and selling more of my uh, designer goods that I'm getting rid of. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for that. I'll put a link to my Poshmark down in um, the description box and in a pinned comment. But it is done. This is not final. I've already reached out to, to the closet company to send a few more pieces to really finish it off. But let's have a look and then we'll go over everything. So we are here in my closet and it is absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, against the first wall here, I just ended up putting a lot of my shoes. Um, I have like a little Saint Laurent area. Um, and I also took one of the stands that I got from Amazon for holding my bags. And I put a few of my bags, my Christian Dior Fendi bags and my, I need to wear this more often, my little Fendi uh Fendigraphy nano bag, which I absolutely love. Um, yeah, so I ended up putting most of my flat shoes here against the wall. Um, all of my uh, Chanel dad sandals and flats and slides and then a few Hermes. Um, just because those are the ones I kind of wear the most here in Miami. And when I just want to quickly go somewhere, I always grab a slide. But then I have all of my heels. Um, and then pretty much I have, I love the space up here at the top because I put a few of my, um, like more elevated black, um, sandals here for when I'm having a night out or some kind of black tie and I need a black shoe. And yeah, everything fit. It is quite tight. Um, at the beginning here, I have all of my dresses, which kind of fade into my pants, um, which fades into my two piece sets and then my shorter dresses um, and then long sleeve dresses down at the bottom. I have super long dresses that I've kind of doubled up 
Um, I have my swimwear. I have uh, my shirts and tops down at the bottom along with a few bags. And then up here I have skirts, tops, and blazers. Um, thankfully it all fit. <laughs> I'm very, very happy that it did. Um, oh, you guys, so, so good. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is doing a closet favorites video. Um, and that will be coming up soon. So really happy with how my closet turned out. Um, if you're interested in the closet company I use, I'll put their information down below. Again, they're only available in Miami. Um, and this is the new dress here that I got in from Solid and Striped. It is a blue knit dress with white outline. Uh, it is absolutely stunning. Stay tuned for this. This will definitely be featured in the swim week vlog coming up. So what I think I'm going to do is because I do have a little bit of wall space here where this wall kind of goes in. As you can see, it comes out a little here. I think what I'm going to have them do is I'm going to use the same material and I'm going to have strips, maybe like two or three with hooks on them so I can put more of my bags and hang them here on the wall. Most of them are quite thin or this thin and it would be pretty flush without me like bumping into them or anything and then where you guys are against the wall i think i'm gonna put a mirror um so yeah that's my closet and i'm so happy to finally have one and now this room is huge <laughs> and it's echoey and i'm gonna get um some more pieces to go in here a rug um, a couch that comes turns into a queen size bed for guests and yeah just really happy with how everything turned out all right guys thank you so much for joining me for this vlog where i updated you on my home decor did a little amazon haul marshalls um a few new things i've gotten in for my space and also showed you all my three new closet spaces including my primary closet, which I'm absolutely in love with. Uh, remember, everything you have seen in today's video, I've linked down below for you all if you want to shop any of those things. Um, if you're interested in any other pieces of furniture or home decor in my space that I didn't cover, it's absolutely in the other two videos I've done. Check those description boxes for links or click the description box and head to the blog post that I've linked that links literally everything in my home where you can shop everything with ease. You don't have to keep coming back to the video trying to figure it out. Um, you should just go ahead and bookmark my website, fashionstillnyc.com. I'll put it on the screen here. I will leave it here for a while while I speak about it because on my website, I have a home decor category where I have linked all of my home decor from all of the various places that I live, including my Harlem apartment. Um, I also have tons of Miami guides, maybe like five guides, where to eat, where to stay, where to shop, what to wear, what to pack, where to go in Miami Beach. Um, I get tons of DMs and I can, I'm so sorry you guys, I cannot answer all of the DMs I get of people just coming into, to, of people just coming into to town and wanting to know what to, what to do. I might get very overwhelmed with the amount of DMs and I don't wanna send anyone any place that they don't end up liking. So please head to my website, click on the travel section. Um, in the travel section, I have guides for Miami. I have guides for New York, Bermuda, uh, Morocco, France, Paris, any place I've ever been, there's a guide. Um, so yeah, check that out as well and also just bookmark my blog so that you can keep up with all of my fashion blog posts as well. Um, thank you guys for joining me. Let me know what you think um, and I will see you all in the next one. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up if you made it this far. It will help me out a great deal if you gave me a thumbs up. I would love to get four, actually 5,000 likes on this video. So help your girl out. Be one of those 5,000. Um, to help pitch my videos out and if you have not subscribed please consider subscribing and joining the family um i can barely talk today <laughs> all right guys i will see you all in the next one bye